close your eyes and watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath each time it comes in, each time it goes out. If you find the mind wandering off, you don't have to follow it. Just come back to the breath. You don't have to straighten out your thoughts. Think of the thoughts as being like the sound of the birds off in the distance. They're there, but they don't have to disturb your concentration. The breath is still here. The thoughts don't destroy it, just like the birds don't destroy the breath. You want to stick with the breath so the mind can have a good foundation. The mind goes around without a foundation. It's like a person without a home. You're wandering around. There's no protection from the sun. There's no protection from the rain. No protection from the heat or the cold. But if you've got a good foundation inside, it's like having a home. You've got a roof over your head. You've got walls around you. You've got windows that you can open and close as you need. It's not like you're totally shut off from the world. But you're in a safe place. This is going to be your spot. When you're dealing with other people, their energies can come, but they can just go right past you because you're filling your own body with good energy as you think of the breath coming in and out through the whole body. But this is something you have to set your heart on, something you have to set your mind on. It's not going to happen on its own. All the good things in the practice require determination. So if other ideas come up, other intentions come up, you just say no to them because you've got something more important to do, something that has higher priority. And that's how you develop good qualities in the mind. As the Buddha said, the path is something you develop. It's not something you just watch come and go. It's something you really have to put your heart into. As for the result, the result is there already. But you're not going to find it unless you do the work. It's like the fresh water that's in salt water. You take the salt water out and you set it and like, get it very still. It's still not going to separate out. You have to heat it first, and then you get the and then you get the fresh water. It's the same way. With this, there are good qualities of the mind, but you have to heat the mind up a little bit. In other words, make a determination and really stick with it. That takes effort. And then the good things are already there are going to come out and appear, and then you can get use of, make use of them. We're beginning the rains retreat today. For the monks, this is the time of taking on special practices in order to ramp up their practice, to put more energy into the practice, give, give more focus to their practice. And it's a good time for lay people, too. It's three months. You can look at your practice and where you are right now. Where are you in terms of your virtue, your precepts? Where are you in terms of generosity? Where are you in terms of your concentration, your meditation, sitting meditation, walking meditation? Where are you still weak? Well, here's a t chance to Put some extra energy into the practice. Think about what you'd like to do for this next three months. It'll give more energy, give more strength to your practice. Figure out what you're capable of and then just stick with it. See what happens. If it doesn't work out, well, you've given it a, a good chance. Three months is a good chance to test almost anything. Not too long, not too short. So take a little time to reflect on where your practice is and where it could be going. After all, this is a path that we're following that goes to something good. But some people are walking quickly, other people are walking slowly. And doesn't, of course, the path doesn't save all of its good things for the end, but the really, really good things are there. So look at where you are in your path and what you can do to help strengthen your practice. Look at your precepts, look at your meditation. Where are they still weak? What can you do to strengthen them? And then make a vow so that you really stick with it. It's a promise to yourself. You don't want to break promises to yourself, because if you can break promises to yourself, you can break promises to anybody. So here's a chance to develop a quality of truthfulness inside. And when you're true, that's when you meet with the truth. <laughs>